Good evening. I wanted to talk to you folks about the Miyaka skunk ape photos. These came out in, uh, or were taken in September or early October in year 2000. So it's been a good 18 years now almost. He's been out and on the internet for a long time. I'm sure most of you have seen him. And uh, I've looked at him hundreds and hundreds of times over the years. I first saw him, I think, in 2005 on the Coast to Coast website before I was really super into Bigfoot. And uh, I always thought they were quite fascinating and had heard the stories about the skunk ape. Um, kind of a, a smaller, slightly more reddish hair, orangutan-looking type of Bigfoot that lived in the swamps. And it got its name because it smelled terrible, which, been to Florida, it's super humid, so you can imagine any kind of large ape creature living down there would probably smell quite terrible. So the first photo you saw, uh, and then here's the other photo that you can see. You can see it's a, what, what gets me is I, why I don't think it's a costume is, one, it's got lower canines. Two, it's got lots of different colors in its hair. It's got lots of white. It's got lots of grays and browns. And uh, its hair looks a little ratty, a little nesty. The eye shine, uh, a lot of fake masks and stuff when they have eyes, uh, they don't shine. Or it's a human's eyes, you know, cut through a mask. So to me, it looks like it's a real animal or a real creature. So I honestly don't think this is a mask or a prop, uh, especially in the year 2000 before Bigfoot was really super into popular culture. And uh, it's just a lot of scraggliness and a hunchness to it. It just the length of the arms. It just it looks like a real creature. So there was also a letter that goes with this when it was sent. And I'm not going to read the whole letter. Uh, but the part that really gets me is the lady in this letter who says she hears whoop noises in the backyard and it was stealing apples and it comes around all the time, uh, is that she said it was between six and a half and seven feet tall. Now, for me, that's the big... That's the big red flag here. The big, well, not red flag, but the big, the big clue to me to why I think that this is not a guy in a suit and why I also don't think it's an escaped orangutan. Uh, for a long time, I thought, yeah, I think it's a real skunk ape. Then I thought, you know what? It's just a, it's it's just an escaped orangutan. And other people did eye measurements on an orangutan before, but uh, if you look at the sheer size of it, how thick it is, and she she, she said between six in the letter between six and a half and seven feet tall from a crouching position. Now here's an orangutan at the San Diego Zoo and the little girl next to it, that's my daughter. She's less than two years old at, in, in that picture. She's 20 months. And granted, that's a small orangutan, um, but it kind of gives you a little bit of a scale that when you see them at the zoo, even the big males with their real wide faces, the orangutans don't get very tall. I mean, they probably get heavy, but they don't get very tall. You know, we see this uh, great ape size chart here. The orangutan is the second from the left. And it comes up to about a standard human's chest. And a standard human, they don't consider to be six and a half to seven feet tall. That's exceptional for a human. And you look at the general size of it compared to a human and in that picture. And whatever the creature was in the picture looks to be very large, very big. And you got to remember for an orangutan or gorilla or anything else in the size chart... Very rarely do these apes ever stand up completely straight like a human because they're mostly quadrupeds. They're not bipeds. So even if you could lay one out and stretch it out to the length of a human in its normal walk and gait, it's not going to be as tall as a human being. So to me, the size of it, if the letter's correct, the whole thing could be some bizarre hoax um, compared with uh, some very large feral chimpanzee or uh, orangutan or some crossbreed, or some experiment. I don't know. I think it's a genuine skunk ape, otherwise known as the Bigfoot creature that lives down in the south in Florida. So this video was just to give a quick overview of my opinion of the Miyaka skunk apes. They're pretty famous photos in the big ape, in the Bigfoot world. People have debunked them. People have undebunked them. Um, Bigfoot Tony did a quick video on it the other day. It was really good. It kind of renewed my interest. Go check it out. Also, the, the channel Bob Gimlin, Gimlin with a Y, uh, the YouTube channel, he did an amazing breakdown on it as well. He did a good job. And uh, I know people say it's a fake or it's a hoax or it's this or that or it's an orangutan. But for me, if you take it into context with the letter and you take it just from the, the size of it compared to the palm next to it and the way it's got a palm in its mouth and the colorization of it, I don't think it's a costume. I don't think it's a hoax. I think it's a real creature. And for me, it just seems way too big to be 
a typical orangutan um because i know orangutans get big like i said but the, the the height of it is what is what gets me and i think it's fascinating and uh, i think this lady in florida had a skunk ape or a bigfoot from florida that would go into her backyard and steal apples anyway that's my official opinion on these photos uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, hit the little notification button, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to, go ahead and leave a comment as well, and uh, stay safe in the woods, folks.